Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today I am going to talk about the new SARS-CoV-2 variants find in the animal mink. If you are new to the channel, I'm Dr. Han. It's so nice that you are stopping by. Now in this channel, you will find science review content, updates on the latest global health topic. I also like to share learning tips and tricks for students' personal and academic development. If these are your interest topic, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you have already subscribed, thank you again for coming back this week. During the first week of November, Denmark reported finding a few new variants of this SARS-CoV-2 virus in farmed mink and also in human. Now, one of the variants have up to four different mutations in it. Now, today, let's look at the five facts of this newly discovered variant of SARS-CoV-2. So Denmark reported a newly discovered variant of SARS-CoV-2. Now today we are going to look at what are the implications of this variant, what we know so far. Okay. Now first a disclaimer. Again, this video is my summary interpretations of publicly available information, and this video does not serve as any advice on treatment, diagnosis, and preventions of any diseases. All right. So a little bit of the background. On November sixth, okay, the COVID nineteen infections was recorded in two hundred sixty mink farms in Denmark. Okay. Now they also find a new variants of this virus in the animal and as well as in the people who work in those uh, farm and also the local community. All right. There's also some strong evidence suggesting there's a link between the farm and the local cases happening in the recent time. So let's look at the first fact. Okay, what has changed in this new variants of SARS-CoV-2? Right. So so far there are five groups of variants found in Denmark. They name it cluster one to five. Right. There are up to seven different mutations being found in combinations on the spike protein, and in one variant, the cluster five, it harbors up to four different mutations. These mutations include some deletions of certain amino acid and changing up、uh, certain amino acid at specific positions. Now, I won't go into too deep into it. That is just for your reference there. And the risk is that these changes happening at the spike protein could potentially affecting the vaccine efficacies that are designed to target these spike protein. Now, what are the number two fact here? So, how does it change? Okay, now there have been some reported of loss of antibodies.、Uh, Ability or neutralization ability in cluster five variants. Okay, now these antibodies were recovered from those patients that are、uh, healed. Okay, recovered from the disease. Okay, they show they don't inhibit the variant as well as inhibiting those non-mutated SARS-CoV-2. Now, currently there are more studies on the way to confirm the cases and look at the mechanisms of how these things are happening. Happening. All right. Fact number three. Now, how does the mink variants affect human? Now, in Denmark, it has been detected in two hundred and fourteen people among about five thousand、uh, samples. This cluster five virus has been identified in five different mink farms, and there were twelve samples in between August to September. Right. So far, these cases or this variants remained somewhat local in some areas of Denmark. So let's look at fact number four. What has been done so far? So far, all the farmed mings, okay, in Denmark must be euthanized or killed. Idea is to limit the risk of 
having this variant spread to the bigger community and causing a potential risk of losing vaccine efficacy. So far, this cluster five variants have not shown any evidence of being more infectious and no evidence of being more deadly. Fact number five. What about the rest of the world? Now, so far, six countries have reported finding SARS-CoV-2 in farmed mings. This including Denmark, the Netherlands, and the Spain, as well as Sweden, Italy, and the U.S. Now, so what is the take-home message this week? Now, so far, the cluster five mink variant has the most mutations on its spike protein, up to four different locations, and early data suggested decreased antibody inhibitions on these variants. And so far, no evidence showing this new cluster five variant can cause more deadly disease or more infectious. And six countries will report SARS-CoV-2 variants in farmed mings. Now, to learn more, here are the link. One is from the WHO. Another one link is actually from a, a Denmark website, which is written in Danish, but I read it with a Google translated versions. So I hope this video provided a little bit more information on this new variant of SARS-CoV-2 find in farmed mink animal. That is all for this week, and I see you next Sunday again for another episode of COVID-19 update. Bye.